The Suffolk market town of Bury St Edmunds provided the backdrop for the penultimate day of the Tour of Britain. This seventh stage was the longest of the race. As ever, a mob of camera-wielding supporters besieged the HCC High Road bus of Mark Cavendish, waiting to catch a glimpse of the sprint ace. Today was expected to be a day to suit him. Yeah, we'll try and win. Hopefully it's a good sprint, see how it goes. Conditions today are quite windy. Yeah, quite windy, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. I hope. Team Sky have won over plenty of new fans this year, and indeed at this Tour of Britain. Their ace in the pack was Geraint Thomas, until a crash on Friday saw him drop from second overall to 12th. The highest placed home rider going into the stage was Garmin Cervelo's Daniel Lloyd at third overall and 29 seconds from the leader. Uh, I'm just going to be careful in the first few k's whilst the attacks are going but um, I think normally it'll be a race that's controlled by sprinters teams and a little bit by rubber bank so I'm, sort of, I'm pretty sure it's going to end up in a sprint but it looks like quite a tough finish so I'm going to make sure you know, stick near the front towards the end and don't lose any time. This man remained the rider to beat though. Dutchman Lars Boom has held the IG Markets gold jersey since stage three. His Rabobank team poised to ensure their man takes the top step of the podium in the finale in London. And so it was that an escape group of six riders, none of them a threat to Boom, was allowed to build up a hefty lead early on. With just shy of 200 kilometres from the start to Sandringham, the peloton's pursuit was fairly languid. Shortly after the race entered neighbouring Norfolk, sporadic showers did little to deter the crowds lining the roadside at every village and town. Thankfully for the riders and spectators alike, conditions improved. Nearing the finish, a game of cat and mouse ensued, the breakaway's lead of over seven minutes dwindling rapidly. But the sprint teams misjudged this particular chase, and the six stayed away. Lithuanian Gediminas Bagdonas taking a well-earned trip to the podium. Cavendish had to make do with sprinting for seventh, moving to within three points of boom in the points competition. But the Dutchman's focused firmly on gold. Um, for me, it was all right that the, the break stayed away. Um, Cavendish wanted maybe a sprint. It's normal, I think. Um, three for us was okay like this. 28 seconds separate Boom from his nearest rival. Sunday's race of truth against the clock should seal it for him.